Everything about Pride Month. So we entered June, and on the very first day of June, I came to hear the word Pride Month, and I was confused. What is Pride Month? Why June is called the Pride Month, and why is it celebrated? What does the pride flag signify? But what exactly is pride? It is a state or quality of being proud and of who you are as a person, and of having a positive stance against prejudice and violence against the LGBTQ plus community. So welcome to Top Viral. We are back with another interesting video. Today, we are going to talk about everything about Pride Month. So without any further ado, let's get into the video right away. Pride Month is a month-long celebration that happens every June. It is a time for the LGBTQ LGBTQ plus community to celebrate their freedom, equality, dignity, and being seen as a social group. It's a celebration of being yourself and loving whomever you choose without apology. The acronym LGBTQ stands for Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender, and Queer. Intersex and asexual people are included in the LGBTQIA general term. Queer refers to non-straight persons. Intersex refers to those whose sex is unclear due to genetic, hormonal, or biological differences, and asexual refers to those who do not experience sexual desire. However, it was a long and difficult road that brought them to this point, or they can now openly enjoy their liberation nonetheless. The oneness that homosexual people as a group have and continue to possess has driven the LGBTQ plus rights movement to where it is today. Homophobia or heterosexism has always been in this society, dating back to the dawn of mankind. There have been many instances of violence, harassment, and unfairness against members of the LGBT community and other marginalized groups. It is widely believed that homophobia first emerged in the Middle Ages and worsened during the Renaissance. Early 20th century persons in the gay community were still viewed as undesirable, and the United States was one of the several countries to do so at the time. In the United States, homosexuality was still regarded as sodomy and outlawed, and homosexuals were frequently prosecuted or fined heavily. Because being homosexual was against the law, they had to deal with oppression and harsh treatment every day. Despite this, there were many brave people who stood up against this folly as well as the crimes that were committed against them. The Stonewall Riot was like a turning point for the LGBT community in the United States and the rest of the world. There were several gay bars in the United States by the early 20th century which provided a shelter for homophiles. However, to their horror, these clubs were frequently raided by police officials for petty reasons such as illegal behaviors taking place in the bar. Homophiles were frequently attacked and persecuted by the authorities for no other reason than that they were who they claimed to be. Who designed the gay pride flag? Gilbert Baker, an American artist, gay rights activist, and drag queen came to understand the symbolic significance of flags in 1976. With the help of his buddy Harvey Mike, one of the country's first out homosexual elected leaders, he created what would become the first rainbow flag in 1978. The various colors of the LGBTQ plus flag signify various ideas. Colors such as red and orange represent life, yellow and sunlight, green and nature, indigo and spirit, and blue and violet represent harmony and the spirit of nature respectively. Some people also see power, rebellion, and hope in the rainbow flag. A black and brown stripe was added to Philadelphia's flag in 2017 to commemorate the city's historically underserved population of LGBTQ persons of color. To better reflect the transgender population, numerous organizations have embraced the transgender pride flag's baby blue and light pink colors. As a matter of fact, the rainbow flag has evolved into much more than a mere symbol. It inspires people to be who they are and to love who they love without remorse or fear of judgment. What is the 1969 Stonewall Riot that changed millions of lives? Certain realizations struck the homophiles hard in the early morning hours of June 28, 1969. They recognized that no one should quietly abide and live on the stigma associated with their sexual orientation. Injustice should not be tolerated in silence. As a result, the Stonewall Riot broke out in front of the Stonewall Inn in New York City. Marsha P. Johnson, a black trans woman, proudly led the riot. Hundreds of people gathered outside the bar to encourage the rioters. The officers thought they had locked themselves inside the inn, but the wrath among the mob was so great that they lit the bar on fire. 
However, other police units arrived as quickly as possible to free the imprisoned officers and maintain order for a short period of time. There was no end in sight to the wrath felt by the queer community after the regiments of officers disbanded the crowd to get the rights that LGBT and other persons of non-binary gender have been fighting for since their inception, this uprising lasted until July 1, 1969. While the Stonewall riot may appear to be an act of vandalism, it had a significant impact not just on the United States but on the rest of the world as well. This riot was a beginning of a greater revolution. Not only did it inspire the modern gay rights movement, but it also raised awareness of the plight of those who had previously been marginalized due to their sexual orientation or gender identity. Christopher Street Gay Liberation Day March was held one year after the Stonewall Uprising on the anniversary of that event, which is considered the first ever gay pride celebration. Brenda Howard, a bisexual New York activist known as the Mother of Pride, planned the inaugural Pride Parade to honor the Stonewall Uprising's one-year anniversary. We can conclude that the Stonewall Riot prepared the path for other nations to break the shackles of oppression and subjugation in the years after Section 377 was repealed in India. People commonly used to see homosexuality as an illness but one should never forget that there is no cure for what is not a disease. Who were the major figures involved? Marsha P. Johnson is widely regarded as having thrown the first punch at the Stonewall Inn. At the time of the riots, she was a black trans woman celebrating her 25th birthday in a tour de force in the homosexual community. She died in 1992 at the age of 46 after authorities discovered her body in the Hudson River. Her death was first declared a suicide despite the protests of friends and loved ones. Sylvia Rivera was an activist and self-described drag queen who was also involved in Stonewall riots. She battled alongside Marsha P. Johnson for transgender rights, founding star or street transvestite action revolutionaries to house homeless LGBTQ kids. She campaigned for transsexual rights until her death in 2002. Stormy DeLarvery, a homosexual rights activist and drag performer, was also there when Stonewall was raided that night. After her death in 2014, her friend Lisa Canistracci told the New York Times, Nobody knows who threw the first punch, but it's rumored that she did, and she said she did. Why June is celebrated as Pride Month Gay Pride was first held a year after the Stonewall Uprising, and since then, the month of June has been observed as a time to honor and celebrate cultural variety. There has been an increase in the size of this march each year, culminating in what is currently known as Pride. After the Stonewall riot, the fight for gay rights achieved mainstream acceptance that has lasted until the present day. As a result, the truth behind why the 28th of June is designated as a Global Pride Day has been revealed when the first ever queer rebellion took place in Stonewall Inn of New York City on this day in 1969, it was an event that would transform the world for the better. For the first time in 1999, President Clinton designated June as Gay and Lesbian Pride Month, a time to honor and encourage members of the LGBTQ community. Each year, dozens of celebrations and marches are held around the world during Pride Month. One of the biggest celebrations happens in New York City where the modern gay rights movement began. The New York City Pride celebration which takes place on June 26 this year is the country's largest Pride Month parade with over 2 million people attending in 2018. So this was all about this video. I hope you liked the information given in the video. If you have anything in your mind, feel free to comment below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this. Also, hit the bell icon to get the notification of the latest updates in the channel. Thanks for watching.